what about this uh, ninth World uh, Chambers Congress? We are enjoying it. Uh, this is, of course, I have many experiences of uh, attending other events. And I think the culture, the atmosphere, the music we witnessed yesterday, the opera, is making a new twist for uh, uh, the Congress in Torino. So we like it. Uh, talk about mobility. Uh, can uh, mobility um, uh, can be the engine uh, for uh, develop and growth of the, the people? With the globalization, mobility is, is important, it's necessary, and uh, you cannot uh, look at the world being more competitive with restricting the mobility. And this is something we talked about today. Uh, we looked how how's the American looking at it and the fact that it's uh, creating jobs instead of taking jobs away, as many people understand. We look at it from Japanese perspective with their aging uh, population and becoming more and more old. They need a new talent, younger people to come to their economy to be able to grow it. We looked at it also from European perspective and the fact that uh, Euro uh, integration definitely require uh, easier mobility and the fact that the current time maybe is not doing that and these are challenges to keep growing the economy from one side and uh, to create even jobs which will achieve prosperity. You talk also about uh, migration, immigration, illegal migration uh, can be a problem, uh, can uh, modify the, the situation of the countries. The, the fact that the, the, there is illegal immigration, it's a challenge and societies have to deal with it. We understand that Europe and especially Italy suffering a lot from that and that's why we had uh, uh, an expert from IOM to come and speak how to deal with it. The fact that we deal with the humans, we have to deal with it also in the right way. It has to be managed, it has to be orderly. It's a challenge that societies have to deal with it, but it shouldn't be one country, but should be the whole world dealing with it. Let's talk about uh, Dubai. It is a uh, year uh, in, uh, in Turin. And um, one, are there uh, some uh, projects or a proposal that uh, Dubai uh, want to share uh, with other countries? We, we start talking with a lot of uh, companies from Turin and Italian companies and the fact that right now uh, between Italy and Dubai there is a quite a, a good sizable 4.5 billion eu euros worth of a trade. However, there are big opportunities in a number of sectors such as fashion, food industries, a number of other services. Uh, we've been conducting a number of meetings here. I'm seeing the mayor later today to discuss something maybe more strategic between both chambers of commerce. And uh, we definitely, through these interactions, will be able to open more opportunities for companies from both sides in Dubai and Turin. Is this the message or uh, there is uh, another um, main message that uh, Dubai want to send uh, from Turin? We believe that uh, right now with the current economic situation, with the attractive euro prices, the whole Middle East can offer a lot of opportunities and Dubai can be a gateway for the Italian and uh, companies from Turin to enter this uh, huge market that's growing, that has a lot of demand. And uh, we believe that you have excellent offering, very competitive prices, and uh, this, uh, this is a great opportunity. So both chambers can work together to uh, explain more to companies and open more opportunities. Okay. Just another question. Um, what about, uh, what do you think of uh, Turin uh, at the uh, chance to take a ride of the city? I, I, I have uh, little, I would say, experience. I walked around yesterday. We were at the uh, Piazza Castello. Uh, excellent experience. I love the music. I love the opera. The food is great. So definitely, it's, this city is offering a lot. And uh, maybe through such experience, we will be able to tell more people about it, and they will be coming here.